Mountain House is poised to become California's newest city. I don't know why Mountain House shouldn't be a city at this point. Early returns after Election Day show more than 90 percent of voters think it's time the community becomes a city. This was a historic ballot measure that really sets the groundwork for us becoming a city. So cityhood, I mean, that's huge. Jody Almasi is the deputy general manager of the Mountain House Community Services District. Should Measure D formally pass, the Community Services District will become a city. But life, Almasi says, won't change all that much for its residents. It doesn't mean like overnight there's going to be a radical change in the services that we're providing uh, Mountain House residents, but it provides us that opportunity so that we have access to more funds and revenue coming in. On Election Day, voters not only decided on cityhood, they also voted for city council members and a mayor. I just want to continue to serve Mountain House. Right now, it's Andy Sue leading the race to become Mountain House's first mayor, with more than half the vote as of Wednesday night. When I saw the first uh, update, you know, I was pretty excited. He spent Election Day at a tennis match. The longtime Mountain House resident, tennis coach, doctor, and current board member says he's not celebrating just yet, knowing there are still votes to be counted. I would like to, you know, communicate with the constituents and see what are their goals and what they would like to see accomplished in the near future. The future comes relatively quickly. Once certified, Mountain House is set to become a city officially July 1st. And community leaders have work to do to reach that deadline. Just stay tuned. Lots of great stuff coming down the pipeline. In Mountain House, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. By the way, California last added a new city in 2011 with Harupa Valley in Southern California. The ballot counting is still underway for Mountain House. The certification deadline is April 2nd.